Uh, our first talker is going to be Scott Barber, and the title of his topic is an alternate on al alternate. I'll, I'll start again. An alternate metaphor for testing. Five minutes starts now. So through just 12 years of experience, I have found that testing is very difficult to explain to testers or non-testers, frankly, right? We've got unit tests, we've got acceptance tests, we've got test-driven development, we've got test first, we've got quality assurance, quality control, we've got conformance, we've got uh, regulatory compliance, we've got all this stuff. And within our own teams, if we're lucky, we know what they mean. But you get outside of our teams and nobody knows, and you go up to executives or, heaven forbid, somebody on the street, they've got no idea what we're talking about. Uh, I did a little informal survey. I probably asked about 100 people just over the course of a couple of weeks how many careers, how many job titles they can think of with the word test in it. And you know what people came up with? Test pilot, taste tester, and crash test dummy. <laughs> Those were the only repeated ones. So here we are, testers. And, you know, when I tell people, what about software testing? They're like, Oh, yeah, I'm sure that happens. I said, no, 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 as a, as a title. They're like, oh, yeah, I've never heard of that. So, you know, the, the same is true with so many of our businesses and, and, and product executives. And uh, I bet you if you took a whole bunch of management courses in school and came out as a product manager or a project manager that uh, you get dumped in a software company and they say, here are your testers, uh, they'll think, oh, engineers. No, these are the testers. So people just don't get it. And then... Go ahead and look up test or testing in the dictionary. You know, really? Pick your favorite definition, right? We talk about checks. We talk about tests. We talk about experiments. And, and the long and the short is this. It's just all very confusing. Now, I'm the son of a teacher, and I've worked with uh, a, a bunch of teachers over time. And here's a fascinating thing. Uh, I think pretty much all of us at some point in our life went to school, yeah? Yeah? Have we taken tests? Quizzes, exams, comprehensives. Do you know what I'm talking about? Do you remember self-tests at the end of a chapter? You remember this stuff? Why in the world can't we use the same metaphor? And, and when I say this now, if we think about this, right? What's a self-test? Sorry if it's hard to read. You can have copies of my slides. A self-test, right? This is where you do something. You check it out. You check your own work and say, hey, did I do OK? What's the equivalent? It's real, this is, this is IntelliSense. This is syntax checking. This is what the compilers do, right? This is that self-immediate stuff, okay? If, if, if you want to think about what, what is a quiz, a quiz, believe it or not, if you talk to an educator, a quiz is not about a grade. A quiz has, the only reason they assign a grade is so that students will actually show what they know. The quiz is all an indicator to the teacher about whether or not they should spend more time on that topic. That's all it is. The grade is incidental. It sounds like unit testing to me, right? If I'm a developer, what's a unit test? Am I done with this? Does it do what I think it does? Is it time to move on? I, I can go all the way down, down the list here and, and, and work all the way uh, through, but the bottom line is, I've worked really hard over the last couple of years as part of a larger uh, thing that I'm working on to, to break this down, to make this metaphor fail. And I've done a very poor job at making it fail, and I'm not a lousy tester. So, and, and I've worked with educators from elementary school through, you know, post-grad post level, and they, they all look at it and go, yeah, but here's the key. Here's the real key, whether this specific metaphor works or not. The one key difference that I found is in education land, they use these titles to talk about not the method, not who does the test, not who creates it, not who administers it, but they define them based on the purpose. So they could all be multiple choice tests, for example. That doesn't matter. The titles go with purpose. 
Now, we name our testing usually by method, sometimes by what's in that spreadsheet in HR, but we don't think about the purpose. Here's, in my mind, the big problem. We talk about test instead of the real goal, which is assessment. Our goal is to help people assess things, not pass-fail tests. It all goes into a bigger spreadsheet I know you can't read, but um, at any rate, that's time. A couple of years ago, I read an article uh, which was called Test is a Four-Letter World, word. and uh, the person explained that usually from the school, the people have uh, association with the word test, which are unpleasant. So what you suggest is <laughs> very interesting. Experiment, assessment, exam, great. The, yeah, the, the, right. There, there, there's this thing called test anxiety, right? I yeah. mean, I guess our applications aren't going to get test anxiety. But the, the whole reason that we do this in school, right, is not to assign a grade. It's to help determine, has the child learned what they need to learn to move on to the next level, or have they reached an acceptable level of mastery? Is that not our real purpose in testing software to help other people assess whether or not that software is ready to move on to the next phase of its life. It's an intriguing idea. Um, and and I, I guess I would ask, have you thought other kinds of tests that go on? First one that came to my mind were medical tests. Um, most of us have that many times in our life, sometimes fun, sometimes, you know, not so fun. So does the metaphor extend into that kind of thing? And, and you know, are you throwing this out just as a, a, a thought exercise, or w would we really want to do something with this? Well, I would. Now, now medical, like a blood test or something, right? I'm not sure, and because I, I haven't thought about this, how far I could extend this metaphor, right? What would a medical quiz be? But we do have self-exams, right? You can go up on uh, WebMD and learn how to conduct self-exams for various things. And, uh, you know, we have degrees of uh, intrusiveness. Um, but I haven't done the research well enough to know how well it fits there. Uh, but I know when I'm talking to an executive, especially if they have a kid, this metaphor works far better than any other one that I've, uh, that I've tried to apply. Anecdotal, not, not a proof. Hi. Uh, yeah, I uh, am intrigued by this, and I definitely would like to see it developed further. It's been bothering, the word test has been bothering me for a few years now as a description for what we do because it has all these sort of other definitions, as you mentioned. And so I've been trying to come up with another metaphor myself. I, I like assessment. I've also uh, kind of been playing with the idea of soft, calling it software editing. Um, <laughs> and uh, I haven't gotten very far with that yet, but just in sort of another uh, potential alternate metaphor to consider that I'd want to throw out there. Oh, hi. Um, just a quick point of clarification. Um, how do you propose, looking at this industry that we're in and the predominance we seem to have of type A competitive personalities, um, how do you propose keeping this from becoming yet one more race to see who's the best if we're doing an assessment? You know, there are certain aspects of humanity that I can't change. And um, there's a certain degree of, of culture and society that until someone uh, makes me a, a possibly benevolent dictator that I can't change. Um, you know, part of, part of the challenge in our field is there's just no general unification. Not that I'm necessarily proposing that there should be, but if you're talking about changing, right, how do you change from a position of what are we changing for, when we can't even define what we're changing from, how do you change to something? 
So there's a big challenge there. But here, here's the one part I do know. The part that I do know is for, for many years, even before my time, we've been trying to change the industry, the world from within. And really, I don't see it happening. If things are really going to change, they've got to change from the people that are making the money. If it's not being pushed down from the business, uh, we're not going to change them up. Uh, so basically, I, 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 I've come to realize that if I haven't been called in by an executive, I can help individual testers, but I can't change an organization. It's not a direct answer to your question. I feel like a politician. I don't mean to, but it's all I got. Yeah. All right, we're out of time. Uh, it's two left. Thank you, Scott. <clears throat>